Hey guys, turtles and stuff here. So here's a cross view of the latest mini toilet that I just did, the front flusher. Uh, basically the same as the other one, except it's missing the concealed siphon jet in terms of how it's designed. On the inside, it has straight up and then this restriction to aid in the flow, basically. It's kind of, it's really restrictive here compared to the other ones. It kind of, stuff, because it's plasticine, it's also sticky. Stuff gets caught in this really easily. So, um, it tends to black up right about here. Or up here. For some reason, it likes to get blacked up up here, too. Normally, because I cut open the back when there's clogged. And then all this water here is bunched up up here. So, apparently, that's a choking point as well. But anyway, all the, the water, there's this weird recession, which is part of this design. Which is, when I made it, it's kind of strange to make the tank look lower. But anyway, there's this recession, and it goes, if the water, for, and then it's forced up onto the shelf and it goes around the rim jets. Uh, there's a lot of small rim jets to rinse, and then there's these uh, seven big ones in the front. That the, the three, the three side ones at each side aim inward, and then there's a spout in the center to push it downwards. So that's the, how it flushes. And the trapway on this is, as you can see, um, it's not very. It's pretty tall, and it's it's two fingers wide. So I mean. Uh, sideways wise so um, it's pretty big and it can do a lot like it could pass like a half inch sphere with no problem it could pass like maybe a, an inch sphere up to here but it won't go past the restriction so anyway that's it for today so please like comment subscribe and turn on notifications and I will see you in my next video bye